Hey guys, Dirty here from Premiere Basics and Adobe just came out with a brand new update for Premiere and there are some really exciting new features. So you've probably been adding sharpness to your footage using the Lumetri color effect, which is fine, but what we should be using is the unsharp mask effect. But we never really did that because it turned your computer into a cozy fireplace and we don't want that to happen. Well, that's no longer a thing because Adobe GPU accelerated this effect. This means that Premiere is using your graphics cards to run this effect, which will make it smooth like butter. But why should we be using the unsharp mask effect? Well, if we use the sharpness from the Metro, the effect will be applied to your entire frame, also the blurry background. But with the unsharp mask effect, you have much more control of where exactly that sharpness will be applied to. For example, on this woman's face, if you exaggerate the amount, you can play with your radius to create a selection. Then just decrease the amount back until you're satisfied. Another one that now uses your GPU is the posterized time effect. With this effect, you can basically change the frame rate of a video. For example, take a look at this 30 FPS smooth animation. You can make it look like a stop motion video. And to do that, find the posterized time effect and drag it onto your clip. Now simply decrease the frame rate to something like 15. Look at that. Now with the new Premiere update, you can also access the properties of your titles much faster now. Back in the old Premiere, you had to open up the Essential Graphics panel, but now all you need to do is right click on your text and click on Edit Properties. The Essential Graphics panel will now open up automatically. And nothing big, but it are small things like these which are really appreciated. Now as you can see, we have two layers right here. One of them is a text layer and the other one is a video of some beautiful stars. Now if you select the text layer, you can scroll down and enable mask with text. This will add the video to the inside of that layer. With the new Premiere update, they added a new option in there, which is the mask only fill. If you enable this, Premiere will ignore strokes and shadows, which will give you more control over your layers. Now, what if you need someone to spell check your writing, but that person doesn't have Premiere? Well, then you should tell them to download Premiere and watch this channel. I'm just kidding. You can now export your text layers to a TXT file. From the text window, go to graphics and open up the menu on the top right. Click on export to text file. Now, every text layer will be separately placed in the text file, including the in and out points of that text layer. And now let's hope that Premiere adds an import function in the next update. That would be really awesome. Now the next one is really awesome, guys. As you might know, Premiere has an auto duck function. This is very useful for if you want your music to duck when there's someone speaking in your video. You can change the sensitivity of the ducking effect, the amount of DC bells, and the fade duration. And now with the new Premiere update, you have the ability to also change the position of the fade. If you wanted to start from the outside, the ducking will wait until the person stops speaking, and then it will gradually increase the volume. Mask effects. But we never really did that. If you set the fade position to the inside, the volume will start increasing when the person is still speaking, like this. Mask effects. But we never really did that because it turned to... And finally, you can increase the quality of your voice. And we happen to have a tutorial on that. You can check it out here. I'm on left. Definitely check it out, guys. And don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And as always, stay creative.